Hey, this is John with Six Ring Country, and we're going to learn Brooks and Dunn's Ain't Nothing About You, written by Rivers Rutherford and Tom Shapiro. The song is in C and features a pretty simple acoustic uh, lesson. We got uh, the same strum pattern throughout the song. We got a few chords in there um, that change up as the song progresses, but it's a pretty easy rhythm lesson. For the lead guitar, we're going to learn that big intro that we all know, that riff, as well as we're going to take a pedal still lick and we're going to play it pretty high up on the neck. Um, it's a pretty cool song to learn on the electric guitar, transposing still licks. Um, but nothing too complicated. We got an easy guitar solo, some big strum chords in the chorus for the electric as well. Let's get started. So for the rhythm guitar, I'm playing my acoustic here. We're not capoed. The song is in C. It's going to feature, for the most part, pretty easy chords. Um, there's, there's a few things in there that we'll have to learn, like a few borrowed notes, but it makes it pretty cool. It's a fun song to learn. Strum pattern-wise, I'm just going to keep it pretty fluid, just down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, there are a few big breakdown parts where it would just be a one strum. Um, you know, I'm not going to include that in a strum pattern because it's just a hit. And the chords are pretty easy to those parts, so I'm not, I'm not too worried about teaching that. Um, the intro of the song is going to feature the primary uh, chord uh, progression. It's going to be an A minor chord. That's just an open A string, 2nd fret D, 3rd, 2nd fret uh, D string, 2nd fret G string, 1st fret B string, and an open high E string. Your run-of-the-mill A minor chord. We're gonna have an F chord. So I'm gonna get some help there with my thumb on the first fret, uh, low E string. Third fret A, third fret D string. I'm gonna use my ring finger and pinky finger there. Um, second fret G string. I'm gonna use my middle finger. And first fret B string. Try and get that as clean as possible. I know the F chords are always tough. Um, a C chord. So you're running the middle C chord, third fret A string, second fret D string, open G, first fret B. And you're running the middle G chord, that's third fret low E string, I'm muting the A string with my from middle there. finger. Um, so I'll play that for you slowly. The intros are all going to be the same. Uh, in fact, this, this progression is going to be the entire last chorus and the outro as well. Um, the guitar solo as well. So it's really the main progression of this whole song. So one, two, three, four. That's our main progression. We're gonna to go to the first verse, which is gonna be the exact same as the second verse. So I'll teach this all together. So you see that progression, we're just gonna play out. After that breakdown in that chorus, we're gonna play it through. Um, so let's put everything to tempo here. Here is the intro, and this is the main progression. One, two, three, four.
Here is verse one and verse two. Oh, one, two, three, four. So for the lead guitar, I'm playing my telly here. I'm gonna use the bridge pickup. The song is in C, so we're not gonna capo or anything. Um, you're doing a lot of higher um, neck parts. Um, we're gonna grab a few big chords in the choruses. Um, nothing too complicated to be completely honest. The, the hardest part about this song is definitely grabbing that pedal still lick. And I, um, I wanted to teach you guys the lick in the same pitch that you would hear it. Um, but because it's a pedal still guitar, they're able to do some higher end bends. We're going to have to go all the way up on the fretboard to get that same pitch. So you could transpose that a little bit further down the board, but it doesn't necessarily sound the same, which is why I decided to do it. And so we're moving on to the first verse. So the first verse and the second verse are gonna be the exact same. So I'm only gonna teach this, uh, I'm only gonna teach one verse. So we're gonna go back to our A minor chord. And we're gonna go to a, that's an E major seven. And we're gonna, we're gonna play a little bit of a, a double stop there um, while the acoustic goes to the F chord. And we'll move around at a C to a G chord, and we'll repeat. Go back to our E major seven, to the F, and we'll go back to our C, to the G. Hold the F. That's to a G chord. And then here, we're gonna bend around that E major seven again that's happening. So, um, we're gonna start off here on an A, a major, I mean, A minor. That's a seventh fret D string, fifth fret B and E. You're gonna let that ring out. And we're gonna E major seven. That's the ninth fret D string, seventh fret G string, the ninth fret B string. And we're gonna ring out on the seventh fret high E string. Actually, let's not do that high E string. So oh, it should be, let's put this guitar solo to tempo. Here's the guitar solo. Oh, one, two, three. 